the Mercedes once again. Four minutes and 20 seconds left on the clock. Bottas and Russell returning to the pit lane now then. And let's see what unfolds in these final four minutes of qualifying. Bottas ahead of Russell by almost a tenth in sector one, a tenth in sector two, but then Russell quicker by half a tenth. A loss in sector three is mainly a bit of toe, maybe a sniff in the last corner. Why wouldn't he do his one run at the end of the session? Good question. Traffic, traffic management didn't want to be out there right at the end. I don't really know why. Maybe he just felt like he was in the groove and wanted to just keep in the rhythm and go straight away. In theory, the, the track gets quicker and quicker. Can't see why that theory changes right now. But he's gone early and, uh, and, he's, and he's done in, in fourth place. So... Three and a half minutes to go. Verstappen is out as well. Verstappen's done. So, he, um, is he? Oh, no, they're getting tyres out no, now. Verstappen's still in. Oh, OK. I thought he was out of the car for a moment, but uh, he's just obstructed by the, by the screens. Yeah. Fine. Apologies. Yeah, Verstappen's still, still OK. <laughs> and uh, three minutes to go. The only Red Bull in this session is... Uh... Yeah, at this point, don't send me the traffic with everyone compared to provisional pole man Valtteri Bottas by just under a tenth and a half. I think it is only Leclerc that is out of the car. Yeah. And Mercedes did three runs because it's such a short lap. They obviously weren't feeling quite right. They wanted to check something out, a balance change or something, and uh, or just simply dial the drivers in a bit more with that third run. And uh, that's why they went out right at the start, which I did think was a strange move, but it makes a lot of sense now. So, two and a half minutes left on the clock. Uh, Leclerc's having to wait for the Mercedes to go out past him as the tyres come off. Bottas goes out first, followed by Russell. Then Leclerc can walk past and continue his way up to the FIA garage to get weighed. Verstappen rolling out of the pits now. It's looking set, this, for a Bottas pole. Verstappen's got a shot. Ooh, and uh, Perez came out just in front of Ricardo. Uh, and then Verstappen sort of took evasive action. Carlos, you need a decent outlap here. Bottas will be behind the flag. You need a decent outlap. Uh, to get the chequered flag, you've got eight seconds margin. Decent outlap pace. In the times and on the track, as they all filter through turn two and three, working on the uh, the tyres. Still got to focus on getting them into the right temperature window and uh, make, making sure they're in optimal condition for this very short lap. A minute and a half left. Bottas doesn't have to improve and it might be good enough. Verstappen is the man that's got kind of nothing to lose, but also a great chance of, of pole position. At the moment, he's third. Leclerc behind him is not going to improve. Possibly Perez and Ricardo can, but there's, they've got to find a good couple of tenths plus to get ahead of Verstappen. But Verstappen's going to be eyeing this pole position still. Mercedes went out later and on a slightly better tyre, and that might explain why they're, they're first and second right now. Jenny. Yeah, George Russell and that Mercedes reporting issues with rotation of the car into turn one. Position is good, you're safe. Most of the session with that first corner. Here comes Bottas now then to start his final lap, his final run in qualifying, gunning for that pole position, gets onto the brakes, turns into the right-hander in the dark night sky of Bahrain, lit up by the floodlights as he comes through turn three and climbs towards turn four. He doesn't manage to improve in the first sector compared to what he managed previously. He's about almost a tenth of a second down. Russell is pretty much matching what he did previously. Verstappen not improving either. Russell's improving now coming through the middle sector. Bottas is about to cut the timing beam in that middle sector and it's only an 18.5, so he's a couple of tenths down here. Well, one tenth down. Valtteri Bottas, Russell through the middle sector, cuts the timing beam and he's a tenth of a second down as well. He's improving, but it's basically gonna be, I think, Russell versus Verstappen for second on the grid. Bottas comes across the line. No improvement. He's on provisional pole position. It was very close. Three one. Good, good. Uh, wasn't great, but that should be on pole. Line in sixth position. Can Perez get up ahead of the Ferrari of Charles Leclerc? Comes through the line now. No, he can't. Nothing's happening in this final uh, running qualifying. Gasly remains in eighth position. Sainz maybe can get up in the Ricardo Perez fight. 
cuts the timing beam in a couple of minutes. He's just coming through the final corner, actually. Stroll remains in ninth place, doesn't improve. Daniel Kafiat, big jump from Kafiat. Good lap from the Alpha Tauri man, up into sixth position. Impressive stuff from the Russian. And now Sainz across the line stays in eighth place. So really, only Kafiat did anything of note on that uh, final run. Russell improved, crucially enough to stay ahead of Verstappen by three hundredths of a second, and was only, to be fair, two hundredths away from Valtteri Bottas. Yeah, he was so close to pole position. Bottas didn't improve, but did do the fastest third sector, which then went to Russell and then went to Verstappen, but it was his first lap that was enough. It was very close. It is. So, 3-1. Good, good. Uh, wasn't great, but... That should be on pole. have to say full credit there to to Russell he's got very 